look at the apparatus deflection beam apparatus we have already fixed the cantilever beam one end is fixed another end is free in the free end we have uh, uh, fixed our deflection gauge to see the deflection in millimeters and i have already marked the midpoint here also what we are going to check center point load we fix the load in the center point we will be keep on increasing the load 1 newton 2 newton 3 newton we will be entering into the reading all of you please have a look in the handout so here this is the rule del equal to minus 5 fl cube divided by 48 ei where f is the force what we are applying l is the total length of the beam here the total length of the beam is 270 millimeters and the diameter of the rod is 6 millimeters what we have already measured and here e is the modulus of rigidity you have to take the same value because which is the same material here also it is given 21000 newton per millimeter square and because uh, this uh, beam is the circular beam which is having the circular cross section we have for uh, moment of inertia we have i equal to pi d power 4 divided by 64 this is the different rule so this is the circular beam which is having the circular cross section we have the rule i equal to pi d power 4 divided by 64 where d is the diameter of the rod and uh, this total is the length uh, with the diameter you can able to calculate the moment of inertia after we find out this you can substitute here in this rule you can find out the uh, deflection for the cantilever beam with midpoint load this is the corresponding rule in this rule you have to substitute and you have to find out the deflection for the load number one for the load number two for the load number three this is for the calculated or theoretical deflection and here for the practical deflection we have already made the setup what we have to do we have to fix the load hanger and for load number one we need to check the deflection like this initially we have to fix it to zero and for the load number one you need to check the deflection and for the load number two you have to fix that you have to see the deflection and for the load number 3 again you have to check the deflection according to that you need to do it so we have got the 3 deflection value from practical and we have got the deflection value from theoretical and by uh, checking the difference you need to put the difference value over here and if you take uh, here in a simply supported beam you need to plot the graph because it is there in the handout for the center point load you have to take here theoretical deflection uh, sorry here it is the load and here you have to take the theoretical deflection you need to plot the graph then? theoretical or practical beyond sir mm -hmm. okay theoretical only will put that and here for the midpoint load load with the deflection here you can take theoretical and the theoretical deflection with, with the load you can plot the graph and for the calculation you have to record on the uh, results you need to write the final answer your teacher will explain your teacher will give you the model calculation conclusion you have to understand what you from the objective just to solve this model questions this is for your quiz point of view maybe it will be useful for your quiz point of view if you solve this model questions